So I'm shooting now. Check the audio as well and see if uh, right. everything is okay. And uh, so just speak uh, up and pretend you're talking. Well, we can right. talk. So um, I spent all day today re researching what's happening in Iran, and it's very complicated. Mm. It is. <laughs> it is. And I went to a list of of uh, uh, Iranian. I looked up. I googled Iranian opposition. You don't want to record me, but yeah. there was a list. This this long. Many of them are out of business, but some of them are there. And I read a lot of interesting stuff. I read a very. You know someone named Sam uh, Ganchi? Ganchi? Ganchi. Ganchi. Yes. I read his stuff. He's an Iranian futurist. He wants futurism for yeah, Iran. He is. He's a little bit uh, uh, futurist. How, how would you say? Yeah. You've heard of him, though. Gucci up here. Gucci, yeah. Well, yes. <laughs> right. He's he's yeah. he 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 says that the Bush administration should have been um, helping Silicon Valley to make an alternative, so all the Iranian computer programmers mm. would be a good model, and they'd have fun back and forth between Iran and Silicon Valley, and everyone in Iran would want to be uh, a technology person instead of a, a an imam. And, and they wouldn't go to Australia instead, and everybody would be happy. But Bush instead helps the oil companies and tries to kill people instead of trying to lure them into uh, the future. So that, that, that was, that's that, his that philosophy. That's kind of theory. That's anyway, his theory. But uh, in, uh, on this planet, there are two countries who do produce, uh, uh, actually, uh, computer scientists, I would say. Hardware, software, and and uh, all these whiz kids of the computer world. The first one is India, and the second one is Iran. Believe it or not, the bad thing about Iran is that they do not allow these uh, clever kids, you know, to come out and make money. Or because of the Iranian situation, American companies do not go to Iran as much as you know they are in India, for instance. So you're saying uh, if, if the if the politics were different, that there would be outsourcing of a lot of the American computer work uh, to uh, Iran. Uh, it could have been yes. Uh, what I'm trying to establish is that uh, in Iran, still today. Uh, there are uh, youngsters uh, who are very much in this, uh, in the hold of you know this new technology. Right. And uh, as I said, they are the second to to India. Do you know if there's a if there's a big uh, uh, internet uh, uh, culture within Iran? Presumably they can't get out. Absolutely. But within Absolutely. Iran, uh, I don't know whether you know or not. Uh, uh, today, there are. Uh, thousands of uh, uh, young generation who have established their own blogs right and uh, I do receive every day I do receive you know emails if I open my email in here then you would see hundreds of you know emails from various peoples uh, which really I don't have time to, to go through all of them. What about e-commerce? Do you know if there's much e-commerce within, again, within no, Iran? Not in Iran. No, for people? no, not in Iran. Yes, there is. There is a little bit of, you know, in the local uh, economy right. uh, within the Iranian geography, but uh, it is not as big as, you know, it should have been. Uh, I mean, today. What, what, what can you say about the um, uh, government policy at the different levels about uh, the development of the Internet, both for communication and for business? Is there, a, is there a, 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 an Islamic uh, uh, set of rules about the Internet? Or? There is no Islamic rules about the Internet, obviously, because Islam... Uh, Predates the Internet. <laughs> 1,400 years ago. And, uh, uh, but the point is that uh, it is the uh, totalitarian policies of the regime who is very much frightened of this new technology. And... Uh, they don't want to uh, let uh, uh, people to, co to to have the uh, control of this this uh, technology well, because otherwise uh, they would lose the control of the country. It has that in common with China, which has a, a what's called the Great Firewall of China, which keeps uh, uh, websites outside of China away from people within China. And apparently, the largest army of internet censors in the world is in China, uh, protecting. 
uh, in the view of the government, uh, users from uh, subversive uh, influences. Is, is, that, is there a similar arrangement in Iran? It is not in to that extent in Iran, uh, but uh, it is uh, pretty much the same. First of all, for instance, technically, they do not allow uh, users, internet users, to, to have uh, better uh, and faster access into the into the net, worldwide net. Right. And uh, the, the maximum you would uh, see today is uh, uh, DSL of 126 uh, um, uh, 150. KB. Right. And uh, but usually is uh, 56 KB. Right. Is is does the government provide all of the internet That's right. access? It is the government. Even, even the government. either it is the government. Uh, at the end, it goes back to the government because government holds the uh, got the monopoly of the uh, communication uh, system. Is there any country. competition among? Uh, is there one national phone company that, that provides all the internet service? Absolutely. Or are there, yes. That's what? the government uh, under the uh, umbrella of uh, Ministry of Post and. Uh, uh, telegraph and that kind of. Uh, what about what about wireless uh, communications? Yeah, Wi-Fi it or Wi-Max? The same, yeah, wi fi Wireless is is a, uh, in fact uh, it's a very big uh, income for the, for that ministry in right. Iran, uh, and uh, they do actually sell the SIM cards prior to to uh, uh, introducing into the you know uh, consumer market. Right. And people, uh, most of the time, they usually wait six months at least to get their SIM cards. Do people have access oh. to internet cafes? They uh, do have uh, access to internet cafes, but uh, the internet cafes are regulated by uh, a body, uh, a governmental body, and uh, they do oversee what uh, these internet cafes can provide to their customers and what they cannot. So is there is there any effort to provide uh, enhanced or better, faster internet service as a way of spurring business development or uh, communications within Iran no, at there, all? there are uh, two tier sort of policy. One is for business and another right. one is for the uh, uh, individual uh, consumers. Right. And uh, for the business, uh, mostly the, the best system goes to the governmental uh, right. organizations and companies. And uh, private entities uh, do have access to better uh, internet communication, but uh, still they are regulated. Are there any fiber optic networks? Uh, yes. In, 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 uh, yes. That the government has, or That's right. do private businesses have uh, any access to fiber uh, yeah, obviously uh, networks? Obviously, they do have. They do have access to fiber network, and uh, they uh, Finns actually. Um, uh, Danish, Swedish right. companies, and uh, Norwegian companies, right. Scandinavian com right. uh, companies, I would say, that uh, they have uh, established many years ago, about uh, 15, nearly 20 years ago, they uh, got the fiber system into that country introduced, and uh, there is a fiber. Is, is, is there much debate, either in the government or in business circles or in civic society, civil society, about the relationship between developing more internet developing more uh, economic uh, uh, empowerment and political uh, change? No, there is no such a uh, challenge going in. And there are no, there are no uh, chat rooms or forums or, or uh, there places are. for people to get together or people just send email? What, what's the level of political discourse on the Internet and how controlled is that by the government, the, would you say? Uh, surely, government cannot control 100%. Uh, as I said, you know, the, um, uh, there are so many uh, individual, uh, individuals who have their own blocks and uh, they do uh, communicate with outside world and uh, they do send uh, emails. They cannot, for instance, uh, access, have access uh, to your website if, if your uh, site is, is filtered by the government, but right. they do find the, you know, uh, technical means to overcome these problems, right. but not all of them, but... Uh, is, is, there, is there much in the way of e-government? E e Can people send emails to their uh, elected representatives in the national parliament or in the city councils to, to uh, ask them questions or to get information back? Is there much e-government in India? It appears in, in that the there is a system there, right. but uh, nobody pays attention within the government. I, uh, um, I do visit, you know, so many uh, 
websites in Iran right. to see what's going on. Right. And uh, for instance, some of these websites are very old. Right. And uh, Ministry of Justice, for instance, uh, they have very official website and you uh, would like to go and uh, see what's going on with regards to these uh, uh, Dissidents right. and the political prisoners, or, or, you, or, or, right. or rules and new rules and right. regulations. You, th you think if there's a lot of rules, I, under I, I, I understand Iran to have a lot of rules. You'd think they'd put the rules on the internet so people would know what the rules are. They, wouldn't they? They, so, some of them are on, on internet, and some of most of them are not on the internet right. actually. And then, uh, uh, whenever you go and you see that this this is very old uh, stories they have put for instance, right. uh, it goes back a month old. Right. And therefore, yes, there is a system there, but nobody actually uh, goes around this system do, and uses right. this system. Do, do people in Iran have access to uh, social networking sites that are headquartered in the United States, headquartered in Santa Monica, a few miles down the road here? Uh, MySpace, uh, Facebook, these kind of interactive sites where people uh, post their personalities and their favorite uh, Some, books and radios? Uh, uh, stations, either either the global ones or their internal ones in Iran. There is no internal ones in Iran as such, but um, uh, uh, some of these clever youngsters right. do overcome these filtering problems, right. which has been created by uh, by the government, right. and uh, they do have access to these uh, intercommunication with with uh, with this. Uh, uh, Global village. I right. Would say. Speaking of young people and, and uh, uh, cleverness, uh, are there internet dating sites in Iran under mo uh, uh, that the government allows, where people? Yes, there people is actually. Tell us that, about that a little. There bit. are, there are obviously. I'm picturing a lot of women in burkas, or at least with uh, headscarves. People can put can women put pictures of themselves on dating sites in Iran without being uh, uh, harassed without by the, the government? Headscarves. Without with, with headscarves or without headscarves? Without headscarves, no. Right. With headscarves, maybe. Okay. But, uh, however, uh, there is a religious, actually, uh, site. Right. Which encourages uh, these uh, youngsters uh, to have uh, a temporary uh, uh, marriage. Right. Temporary marriage means uh, for two hours, three hours, right. or one week. And, and those are those are there on the site. They are, yeah, they are, uh, there's a lot of religious uh, church uh, uh, internet in the U.S. Are there uh, Muslim prayers and uh, are there electronic mosques where people can can I, participate I in prayers? Uh, I haven't I haven't come across with the electronic mosques, but I have uh, most of these uh, mullahs do have their own uh, uh, headquarters, which is. Uh, um, actually operated electronically and they do answer to the questions of the you know uh, believers oh and, right okay uh, question yeah. ask ask the mullah uh, identify yourself would you please for our uh, viewers yes uh, my name is uh, Nadir Sadiqi I am an Iranian journalist and uh, I, I am a writer I do write from time to time and I am a TV and radio for personality at the moment I do have a prime time show from 7 to 9 uh, on KRSI, which is operated from uh, Los Angeles, California, United States of America. Tell people how they can access that uh, radio station, wherever they may, might happen to be. Um, obviously, all programs are uh, in Persian language, and uh, we are on satellite, two satellites. Uh, Telestar 5, Telestar 12, as well as for, for Iran and Europe and other parts of the world, we are on uh, another satellite, uh, which is called Hotburn. And uh, we used to have uh, our broadcasting uh, go to Iran via shortwave, which uh, is being cut off right now. But uh, at the moment, uh, all programs can be uh, accessed uh, via internet through our own uh, website, which is krsi.net. And uh, it is uh, the English uh, web page will uh, appear on your screen, and then uh, you can listen to the you know live uh, broadcasting uh, on your internet. Good. Thanks very much for talking to us. My pleasure. Would you like to, to see my program? Yes, please. I have to please. Stop. Would you like it? Would you like me to have a chat with you within my show? Uh, not, not maybe, 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 in, the future, maybe in the future. 